Hey guys, it's me Meteor, and welcome to another edition of What is Kirby Cannon? Today we'll be talking about another dimension. Ah yes, this place is so mysterious, even its location is a bit confusing. For example, Halkonja exists in another dimension, but doesn't exist in the place known as another dimension. Confused yet? Put simply, Another dimension seems to be the place that exists between other dimensions, a place that is only accessed via portals, known as dimensional rifts. The only real citizens that exist in here are Doomers, whom we saw stealing and guarding energy spheres in Return to Dreamland. Of course, Magalore summoning sphere Doomers through portals within another dimension just adds to the confusion. Maybe portals can reach other places of another dimension. But then, if there is an area between dimensions, BETWEEN dimensions, does that make it another, ANOTHER dimension? Ah! Regardless of all that, the Doomers may seem like they just wanted to stop Magalore knowing his intentions. However, as you can tell from the descriptions of Greater Doomer from Team Kirby Clash Deluxe and Super Kirby Clash, these creatures are drawn to any energy that may exist regardless of who or what possesses it. Aside from that, not much is really known about them or another dimension. And yet, it goes without saying that a lot of weird stuff happens there. Case in point, parallel bosses. At first glance, it's easy to think they are just another version of the same character in a different world, like the Mirror World's Shadow Variants. That already would make things tremendously confusing, however, what they really are could be even worse. What are they? To answer that question, let's take a look at the descriptions for the parallel bosses from Heroes in Another Dimension. As a surprise to no one at this point, the English translations are terrible. Parallel Meta Knights, for example, makes it seem like this is just Meta Knight corrupted by the Jamba Hearts. Compare that to the Japanese version, which states that after Meta Knight was saved in the main story, his thoughts were carried through the Jamba Hearts into the parallel world, creating a parallel form. Note, not even a clone. The other bosses in this mode have similar descriptions. Krako, formed by the hearts and tears of those fallen, Parallel Woods, formed by the thoughts of all the fallen Wispy Woods, and DDD was created by the thoughts in the Jamba Heart, which corrupted him in the beginning of the game. It seems these parallel forms were created simply by thoughts. If this is true, it's like the situation in the Mirror World, where they are only created by negative thoughts. The difference, however, is that these characters never previously existed, but rather materialized here. This of course raises another question. If these forms are created by the thoughts in the Jamba Hearts, what about the other parallel bosses? Landia, Susie, and Nightmare. We never saw them corrupted by the Jamba Hearts. How could they exist? What are their origins? Perhaps they aren't much different. Sometimes, in Eon Hero's Time Rip attack from Super Kirby Clash, we see a Jamba Heart floating through it, in another dimension. Could there be several more of these hearts that still exist in there that may have created copies of Susie and Landia? They both at one time were in another dimension, after all. However, the question arises of time. Is the time rip from long ago, before Void was sealed, or recent events? Was Susie even sent to another dimension at a time Void Termina wasn't sealed? Does that even matter? Does another dimension even have a concept of time? Remember, the Lore Starcutter has the capability of not just traversing dimensions, but also time, presumably through the same dimensional rifts. Also, Void is said to exist in all dimensions, so is any time safe? None of these things are confirmed, but are quite interesting to think about. Even still, the idea of Parallel Nightmare existing seems to put a wrench in this idea. Or does it? Why is it that the Parallel Bosses can only be formed in another dimension? And not just the bosses, but the area they existed from as well, like DDD's Castle and the Sacred Square. Is another dimension some sort of dream world, bringing out the worst fear of the characters? Like Landia being corrupted by the Master Crown, or Susie turning into a cold leader like her father? That sounds like something Nightmare would do. 
Perhaps he even ruled this world at one time as well. Parallel Nightmare can create a portal to it, so who knows what else he could do. That would be quite the nightmare of a galactic crisis, after all. As if things weren't already confusing enough, there's also the matter of the Black Mirror from Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. According to Nintendo Dream, when Taranza tried using this mirror to bring back Queen Sectonia, it called forth the parallel beings from another dimension. It appears this mirror can access another dimension, like the dimensional mirror and the mirror world. It also states the parallel bosses were born through this mirror as well. However, considering Taranza had no previous connection to these bosses, it unlikely means born in the literal sense, but rather brought forth from the mirror. Perhaps this black mirror was also corrupted by Tampa Hearts? Who knows? All in all, there's a lot of interesting stuff regarding Another Dimension, and yet, at the same time, not much is really known either. With so much and so little info given about it recently, it makes you wonder what the next game has in store for us. Anyway, we've talked about all we could about it for now. See you guys next time.